the needle fish. No, can't you hear them, Squidward? They're saying Squidward and SpongeBob, Squidward and SpongeBob, Squidward and SpongeBob, Squidward and... That doesn't look like Ned and the needle fish. Wait, I know what you came here for. <laughs> Well, chase him off stage! Oh. Excuse me, can one of you show me how to use this multimeter? Uh, he probably can. Thanks. Mr. Brown! Do I know you, Colonel Copper? Were we in the Navy together? No, we were not. Ooh, that's good. Because for a second there, I thought you'd maybe... Your shenanigans, sir, are at an end. Oh, yes. And you will be receiving a friendly little phone call from my attorney because I am suing you for every last dime. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going with your own equipment? Hey, thanks again, fellas. <laughs> nice guys like them don't come around much these days. They even redecorated their tour bus mobile for us. How'd the show go, boy? Oh, the crowd went wild, sir. In fact, they're still going wild. <laughs> Quick, on the bus! Well, that wasn't a complete waste of time. Oh, no, wait. It was. <laughs> it, that will never get me old crusty crab out of hog. Yeah! <laughs> the crabs! <laughs> Good news, boys. We only sustained a fat tire. Patrick, go get the spare, lad. Uh, oh, yeah, I can't. What do you mean, you can't? Well, uh, No, no, wait. Let me guess. You ate the spare tire. Wow, you're good at guessing. Patrick, why don't you just ask me? You know I always bring some tiny snack-sized tires for in-between meals. You know, I'm kind of hungry now, actually. Mm. Wait, what? They're fat free. Mr. Krabs, I'd like some money for cab fare. But Mr. Squidward. But nothing. I'm going home. Now put some cash in my hand so I. Ah, but I don't have any money left. Not even a nickel. Oh, God. The crusty crab is gone. Forget it. I'll just walk. Wait, Squidward. Squidward. You can't go. Please. Don't you see? The crusty crab needs us more than ever. I could care less what the crusty crab needs. Now get out of my way. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Squidward, are you okay? Get your hands off me! <laughs> Squidward? Down. Squidward, you must look inward, and then I'm sure that you will see. What an awesome band we still could be. Please, oh please don't quit on us now. I cannot allow this to be our last bow. Now, now, now. No, no, no. Nay, nay, nay. Nay, nay, nay. Nay, nay, Never give up. Don't ever give up. We can't let Mr. Krabs go bankrupt. We must keep busy. Never giving up. How did I not see this plan was a failure from the start? Being around Spongebob is bad for my heart, and that's not even the worst part. Supermarkets, retirement homes, birthday parties for kids, my career in music really feels like it has hit the skids. I give up. There is no point. I give up. Mr. Krabs will have to go bankrupt while I'm busy. Bitterly giving up. Don't you see? Mr. Krabs needs us terribly. We've got it in us to be a huge success. You and I can't settle for less. I promise myself not to shed this tear. It's getting really cold out here. And I'm 400 miles from home, it would appear. And my feet are hurting. Oh dear, I fear this tentacle nidus is pretty severe. I should probably give up on this giving up today. This is the part where I turn around and play. This is the part where I stand up and play. Take a deep breath in an emotional way. Cause with my instrument is how I say.
that was actually kind of good. Amazing! Fantastic! Unbelievable! They've actually gathered a crowd! To think all these people came out to the middle of the desert to see Squidward and SpongeBob. Or they came to see the meteor shower that passes through the Aurora Borealis, generating a stunning once-in-a-lifetime light show. <laughs> Again, please. <laughs> Look, here comes Mr. Krabs. Squidward and I just performed for a crowd of adoring fans. That's nice. I just made more money than I know what to do with. <laughs> well, it looks like they could help you figure it out. Who? Get paid back from Mr. Krabs' line starts here. <laughs> One long, angry line later. Well, well, well. It looks like this is the end of the line for you, both literally and figuratively. <laughs> what do I owe you money for? Well, let's see. How about damaged sound equipment, lost revenue, and just because? I don't owe you a nickel. No, you owe me a million nickels. Rodis, it's collecting time. Collecting time? <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys, our work here is done. <laughs> well, Krusty Krab, I guess this is goodbye. Why? Why? Don't cry, Mr. Krabs. Here, you can have the money from Gary's college fund if you Help. <laughs> Well, you ready to get back to doing what we do best? I'm ready! Yes, boy! Hello, sir! I'd like to purchase the Krusty Krab restaurant you have in your... Where, where is it? Oh, sorry, sir. I just sold it a minute ago. But we do have this slightly used taco stand for sale. alarm clock again. Oh, well. Up and down. Oh, ew. Gary, not my slippers, too. Huh. Nasty. Hey, Wow, I gained to the rescue. What the hey? Come on, Gary. Let go. Goody, goody, go! Ah! Golly, Gary, what's gotten into you? Are you bored? I'll play with you later. Gary! <laughs> Gary, you are a nut. Sheesh! <laughs> that snail sure is acting weird. It's like he's teething again. A second, Gary, have you been chewing on my ball? No. I'm beginning to sense a pattern here. <laughs> Gary, are you trying to tell me something? Could it be that what you need is a new chew toy? <laughs> I thought so. Ooh, I bet they have lots of toys here. I love this Patrick. Howdy, Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob. Gareth. What are you doing here? You don't have a pet. Uh, potentially. I'm just here for the free samples. Mm, you can really taste the gourmet. Well, thank you, ma'am. I may consider purchasing this brand for my worms. Want some? No, thanks. Just had breakfast. We're here to buy Gary a new toy. They're on aisle three next to the most delicious snail treats. Follow me. <laughs> Here they are! Tasty Time Snail Treats! Well, how about this one? Okay, how about this? Well, yeah, I don't think so. Hey, guys, check this out! A Pet Point 3000! A pet toy that plays with your pet! What do you think, Gary? 
So futuristic. Look, the red dot. Come go back here. That's brilliant. But what'll they think of next? I love this thing. Let's turn it up. Huh? Where did it go? Uh, Patrick. Uh, oh, there it is. Wait, you smell something burning? Gary, you might use it. You know, I'm not sure that toy is safe for Gary. Where is Gary anyway? Gary! I wonder if Gary would like this ball. Yeah. I guess you do. Are you ready to play with your new ball? Go ahead, boy. You want it, boy? Okay, boy. Go and get it. Go and get it. Go and get it. Okay, Gary, bring it back. Come on, Gary. Bring it back. You're supposed to bring it back. Oh well, as long as he's not chewing on my stuff. I wonder how Gary's doing. I haven't heard a squeak out of him. Gary? Uh, hmm, where is that snail? Gary, where are you? Gary? Uh, oh, there you are. Oh, a tea party, cute! Do you mind if I join you? I just love a spot of tea. What kind of tea is it? Green tea, Earl Grey, Oolong, Slippery Elm. <laughs> Gee, I think he likes that ball more than me. <laughs> Ew, that is not tea! I know it'll get Gary's attention. Good old Swami Can! Here you go, get. Darn it, Gary. Gary, dinner time. Gary. Gary? <laughs> okay, that's just creepy. Gary, I think you need to spend some time away from this ball. This isn't helping your case. Okay, Gary, fun is fun. Now give me that ball, pronto. Oh, so you've hidden it. Oh, no, you don't come here. I bet I know where it is. Hairball. Hairball. Wallet. Darn it, I thought I lost this. And I just canceled my credit cards. Hairball. Toothbrush. Aha! I knew it! You'll see. Some time apart will do you good. There we go. Out of sight, out of mind. I know you're upset now, but wait until tomorrow morning. Why, you probably won't even remember that old ball. <laughs> Good morning, Gary. I hope you're not still mad at me. Gary? A ball. Oh, I will not tolerate this disobedience, Gary. Gary, I'm not playing around. You had better show yourself this instant. Okay, get down here. Hmm. Gary, give me that ball. Come on. Get down. Whoa. Mother always said, don't run with the broom. I'll take that. Oh. Gary, how could you? You are going to have to make a choice. It's either me or the... Oh, fine. I hope you two will be very happy. Together. Without me. Goodbye. Wow. <laughs> 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 
Let's see if they've been throwing away me slightly used pickles. Hello? What's this? Come on! Open up! What's all the racket? This cash register is broken and I can't get me money out! Mr. Krabs, that is a typewriter. Does it make money? Not usually. Ooh, I can get it to make money. Come and get it! Two weeks later. Okay, that didn't work. But I have another idea! You expect people to compete for a peanut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwich? Did someone say peanut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwich? SpongeBob, do you even know what you're standing in line for? Nope. It's for the Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament. No. I love tapping. <laughs> no, 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 not tapping. It's a typing tournament. Oh. Do you even know how to type, SpongeBob? No, but my friend will help me. You mean Patrick? <gasps> These typing shoes really work. Oh, my typing leg. Uh, no, I meant this friend. Ha, <laughs> good luck. You'll need it. And we are now ready for the competition to begin. <laughs> Round one, a meeting of minds. SpongeBob versus Patrick. In the brown trunks, weighing in at 98 pounds, when fully wet, the fry cook that is no small fry when it comes yeah, to trying yeah. SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh -huh. And in the floral print, the prodigious pentacle of typing power, Patrick Starr. Uh... I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, ready, ready. I'll have two Krabby Patties and an order of fries. Round two! It's a household head-to-head. -head. SpongeBob versus Gary the Snail. Look at SpongeBob SquarePants. He's preparing for the typing contest of his life. Against his very own pet, Gary the Snail. Is Gary oozing with confidence, or is he just oozing? We'll find out as round two is about to get underway. Meow. Round three, SpongeBob versus Mr. Krabs. Will SpongeBob finally make his employer pay? These two competitors have very different training methods. SpongeBob flips Krabby Patties to bulk up his wrists. While Mr. Crab strengthens his claws by pinching pennies. Wow! Let's see if SpongeBob gives Mr. Krabs a run for his money. Did someone say money? Round four. Brawl with the bully. SpongeBob faces Flats the Flounder. I said SpongeBob faces Flats the Flounder. That's better! Don't say it, let me guess. You're gonna kick my butt. Well, this time I came prepared. Ready when you are, Flats! Ay, 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 ay. Round five! SpongeBob in a head-on collision with his driving instructor, Mrs. Puff! And it looks like Mrs. Puff has made a few minor adjustments to her typewriter! Not to be outdone, SpongeBob is making some modifications of his own. Well, these competitors are all fired up, so let's get to it! The grand final! SpongeBob squares off against Squidward! The 
grand final! SpongeBob squares off against Squidward! And to make it even more interesting, it's, it's a, a cage, cage match. match! It was the cheapest cage I could find! Oh, isn't this exciting, Squidward? Someone help. Please help. <laughs> The medium grand final! SpongeBob versus Plankton! I didn't get this far by playing fair. Yes! Yes, SpongeBob, you fool! You are now under my complete control and must obey my every command. I wonder where Plankton is. Looks like we'll have to start without him! The Jumbo Grand Final! <laughs> With cheese! Sea Critter versus Land Critter! SpongeBob versus Sandy Cheeks! <laughs> this is it, folks! The ultimate matchup! It will be interesting to see what kind of finger power they bring to the keyboard! <laughs> Unbelievable! Sandy Cheeks has outdone herself! Just look at that robot typing power! SpongeBob SquarePants has got to have something astounding up his sleeve to compete with this! Oh, he's got red, white, and blue wristbands! This is anybody's game! Welcome to the first annual Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament live from the Krusty Krab! Round one is just about to get underway, but first let's review the fundamentals of safe typing! Ergonomics! Throughout the tournament, we would request that all typists maintain the correct typing posture. If you don't sit properly, you may experience back, arm, or shoulder pain. You might even end up looking like this. <laughs> to avoid this awful fate, first make sure you are sitting up straight. Place your feet flat on the ground. Put your elbows at your side. And make sure your wrists are correctly positioned over the keyboard. You are now ready to start typing! The jump! Welcome to the finals of the Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament! With your help, SpongeBob completed the first five rounds, and more importantly, mastered the keyboard! Now you can help SpongeBob battle these typing titans! Thanks to you, SpongeBob has won the Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament and the coveted sea nut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwich! SpongeBob, what is the secret to your typing success? <laughs> there you have it! If you want to be an award-winning typist, you just need to... Oh, and practice. Keep on practicing! Yes. Well, for all of us here at Bikini Bottom, good night and great typing! Tentacles. That's it! I'll go get my license! Who's Jellyfish Patrick? No, you're Patrick. Oh, you have to help me collect jellyfish. Well, why didn't you just say so? Why are we going so early? It's still dark out. I woke up this morning and I couldn't find Gary and... Slow down, SpongeBob. You're speaking too fast. I woke up this morning and I couldn't find Gary and... Jellyfishing, here we come! <laughs> Come back here! 
wait! Stop! Wah! Ah, look out, SpongeBob! Yikes! Oh! 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 A learner's permit should keep SpongeBob out of trouble. Maybe SpongeBob should have applied for a moron license instead. Hey, SpongeBob! Nice of you to drop in. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with all this jellyfish jelly. What are you looking for, SpongeBob? I'm looking for the tape recorder that has my next mission on it, so that I can try to find Gary. <laughs> you ate the tape recorder, Patrick? Do not smell good. You have done an excellent job so far. Your next mission will require the collection of Krabby Patty. Oh, you're really trying my patience, Plankton. I didn't know you were a doctor, SpongeBob. This tape will self-destruct in three, four, five. No, that's not it. It's counting the wrong way. Take all the jellyfish jelly home. I've got to get over to the Krusty Krab. <laughs> oh yeah, Patrick, laugh at this. Yikes! <laughs> so much for my learner's permit. Get it off me! Get it off me, SpongeBob! Look, SpongeBob! The carnival is back in town! Hooks? Why did it have to be hooks? You know what this means, Patrick? Free rides! I'm ready! <laughs> Welcome to the Krusty Krab! Oops. The video you are about to watch should explain what I have hired your services for. Roll tape! Okay. Now place your left hand over your left eye and read the letters on the wall. Great! Now I can't see anything. Whoops! And wrong time. You are gonna hand deliver the Krabby Patty to me personally! So, let's get this straight, so there's no mistakes. We get the patties with Spongebob, and then bring them to the eye doctor? No, the patties are to be brought to this place. Oh, we get it now. We bring them to his place. For the last time, no! Bring them to his place! Oh. oh, I'll get a Krabby Patty, and you're gonna hand deliver it to him! I mean, me! Ugh, I'm beat. No, you're not. You're SpongeBob SquarePants, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Robo Krabs! I've got to warn Mr. Krabs! Howdy, little square dude. I 
I've been waiting for my jellyfish and partner. Turn tape over to side B. Where are my Krabby Patties? You told us to take them to his house, so we took them to SpongeBob's. Ah, oh, you fools! Poseidon has been bleached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness! Bring it on! In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy! <laughs> and his challenger! A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel! Look, it's a giraffe! Get home to feed Gary. I want to play. I want to play. I think we're not playing. We're fighting for our lives. I want to play. I want to play. Oh, all right. Oh, that was fun. Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh, ah, uh, we. was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula. And that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... <sighs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Well, all the security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn! Prawn! Did someone call? 
Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Pran! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Pran do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn. I shall not rest until you are captured! But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man! You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! No, no, not again! This is not fair! I got a frozen wedgie for this! Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? Ah! Wow, that robot looks like Patrick. And his breath seems just as bad. This day just doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili Riano in a pan of grease. We have to help! You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert! What should we do? Well, we better figure something out, and pronto! Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob, but it's time to stop yapping and get to it! What a silly dream. Mr. Krabs had to close the Krusty Krab. Like that it ever happened. I have the feeling today will be like no other day. <sighs> now I wonder where Gary is. Good morning, Gary. Wait till I tell you about my crazy dream where the Krusty Krab was closed and... Meow. <gasps> oh, you don't say. You had a dream too? Meow, 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 meow. That something really bad is gonna happen? Uh-huh. Meow, 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 meow. Whoa, that really is bad. Well, I know just the thing to cheer you up. I'll go fetch your favorite fetching stick. You didn't think I was gonna leave for work without a quick game of fetch, did you, Gary? Now, come on, boy. Go long! Longer! Longer! <laughs> what did you dig up outside, boy? Hmm, there's something written on it. I think it says, Damger, Donut Alpine, Orelsi. I wonder what that means. Well, maybe we should see what's inside. <coughs> oh, don't be such a soggy sport, Gary. What harm can there be in just a little peek? Just what I always wanted, a muddy little bottle. Just think of all the fun we can have cleaning it. Here we go. Arr, who summons me from my endless slumber? I'll have your eyes for appetizers and your insides for dessert, for I am the Flying Dutchman. I'm sorry about that. Just hop right back into your bottle and we'll bury you back out in the yard so you can... 
Silence! I'll not return to that prison ever again! And what's this? You've gotten into my treasure, have ya? Ooh, I hate it when someone messes with my doubloons. Now, what shall I do with ye lowly knaves who dared stir me up? Let me consult my rule book on ghostly doings. Hmm. In the case of accidental discovery and wanton disruption of my booty, the perpetrators must serve for an eternity on my bloody crew. Well, I ain't never been out to sea with a talking cheese block before, but rules is rules, so I gotta take you with me. Are you ready? Hold on there, Mr. Dutchman, sir. Uh, technically speaking, it was not me who found you. Gary's the one who dug you up. Ooh, that's a relief. This little varmint looks like he can do ten times the work. If he can survive my hypnotic spell. <laughs> oh, no, not Gary. That's not what I meant. Take me, 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 not him, him, him. Too late. My decision is made. Now I've got to check on the treasure stashed back on my ship to make sure no one's been spreading that around. But I'll return shortly to pick up my new crewmate. Say your farewells before I return. Don't worry, Gary. I'll think of something. And it'll be the type of something that will save you. You can bet on it. Oh. I've got some difficult news to tell you. Business has been very slow lately, so I'm going to shut down the Krusty Krab until it picks up again. Well, isn't that just great? I'm going home to think of some ways to pay the bills. So long, SpongeBob. I've asked you, little varmint. The time has come for you to join my ghostly crew. No use fighting it. Your fate's been decided. Now looky here what I got for you. That's right. Watch the little sticky. <laughs> Gary, where are you, boy? Gary! Why did you take Gary, Mr. Dutchman? Why? 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 No one makes my best friends into pirates. And I mean no one. Hey, Squidward. What's with all the stuff on your lawn? A squid has to pay his rent somehow, so I'm having a little yard sale to make a few extra sand dollars. Now leave me alone so I can read my book. What you reading? It's called How to Defeat Evil Spirits, okay? Now please, let me read. How to Defeat Evil Spirits? That's just what I need! Can I please borrow your book, Squidward? <sighs> you can borrow my book after I'm done with it, okay? So look through my yard sale or whatever, but stop asking about my book. How to Defeat Evil Spirits, Chapter 8, The Flying Dutchman. Any poor soul who awakens the Dutchman must suffer his revenge for all eternity. The only defense against the Dutchman's magical powers are his most personal treasures. These are items which he carried close to him while he was alive. Find all seven of the lost treasures in order to face down the Dutchman once and for all. That's it! All I have to do is find the seven lost treasures of the Dutchman to end this once and for all. Barnacles, I thought this would be a challenge. There's no better feeling than having a full stomach and me pockets loaded with money. And now for a nice long nap in the office. If it's a long nap you desire, then I can accommodate you. A customer! Well, step right inside. Place your order. You got the wrong idea, crustacean. Just look upon this little treasure and let yourself rest. That's right. Sleep. <laughs> I've been looking for you. Sorry, but my yard sale is over. You should have shown up on time if you wanted to buy something. I never buy what I want. I just take it. And you're what I'm here for. Another member for my ghostly crew. But according to my book on evil spirits, the Flying Dutchman is only supposed to take the ones who disturb his rest. But that little snail feller is working out so well, and my old crew is so lazy. Can't we overlook that rule just this once? Just think how nice it will be when you're a member of the Dutchman's crew. <laughs> SpongeBob! SpongeBob! <gasps> oh, where is he? I'm tired of being alone all the time. Prepare yourself, pudgy pink one. 
for you shall soon be part of my pirate crew. Part of a pirate crew? Oh, goody, goody, goody! I won't be alone anymore. Uh, okay now. I'm just going to hypnotize you so we can... What are we waiting for? Let's get going already. So, um, uh, just keep your eye on this patty. Listen, am I going to be part of your crew or not? Uh... There we go. Everything's spick and span the way it should be. <laughs> if it's cleaning you enjoy, then have I got the ship for you. <laughs> Stay back, you no-good ghost wrangler, because I've got a knuckle sandwich with your name on it. There's no need to resort to violence when I can just hypnotize you into obedience. <laughs> Hey, old timer. What's with this pier? This pier handles all the shipping for Bikini Bottom. We can handle orders of any type or size. Our next shipment is going to be a huge load of magic bottles. Seems like everyone's trying to bottle up that Dutchman on account of his curse. Do you want to order one? Do you mean I can get one here? Sure. No problem at all. It costs only 300 sand dollars, tax included. I really mean it this time, dude. No talking, no singing, and no way I'm taking off my Tough Man Championship belt. That's it, Larry. You give me no choice but to invoke my greatest singing powers. Prepare yourself. Oh, well, what's with you fellows who met at the beach? One needed a belt that seemed out of reach. It had a big letter that would open a treasure. But the big guy who wore it didn't want to remove it. So SpongeBob decided to sing him this song. If you think I'll give up, boy, are you wrong. That's everything. The boat should arrive any time now. I'll go open the gate. You better get on the end of the pier. You might miss the boat. I hope I made it in time. Yes, I see the boat now. It's getting closer. Getting closer. Looking good. Not slowing down. But definitely getting closer. Getting really close. Still not slowing down. <laughs> Too close. Must move legs. Hurry. <laughs> the time has come for you to join my ghostly crew. <gasps> Fear not, my little friend. Remember what the book said? The treasures you have found will protect you from his magic. Show some respect for your new captain! <laughs> See? His powers have become as limp as stewed seaweed. Hey, go easy on me. I'm not the ghost I used to be, but who is? Go, SpongeBob! Go, self! But do not be overconfident. You must still find the remaining treasures if you're going to break the Dutchman's spell over your friends. You'll never find all my treasures. Begging your pardon, Captain, but we've located the little varmint who's been giving you all this trouble. Aha! Shall we continue moving our cargo down below? Nay! Over the side! You don't stand a chance, Squarepants! <laughs> Gee, Gary! P -p -p Patrick! Sandy! Well, I tried, but it looks like no one's here. I might as well go home. Brace up, little fellow. Your friends are counting on you now more than ever. Only you can save them from the revenge of the Flying Dutchman. You're right. I've come too far to let them down now. <laughs> nice going, SpongeBob! Well, well. So you've got my old flying dinghy over the side and all your friends onto it. But at least you won't get away from me. You'll be my cabin boy from now until the seas dry up. Give it up, Dutchman. Your haunting nights are numbered. I'll wipe the deck with you, Sponge. Psst. Hello? 
I do not recommend that you antagonize him right now. Ah, uh, who's afraid of the big bad Dutchman? You don't understand. The book you borrowed from Squidward was not completely accurate. In fact, it was a little out of date. Uh-oh. According to the new edition, the treasures you gathered have made you mostly immune to the Dutchman's powers. But not completely immune. So be ready for a tough fight. Uh, <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. You don't stand a chance, square pants. Where are we going now, SpongeBob? I don't know, Patrick. What do you think, Mr. Krabs? To the Krusty Krab, everyone! For a feast like no other! Oh, Mr. Krabs, I'm so happy! Yee-haw! That's what I call a celebration. Yay! Yee-haw! Woo-hoo-hoo! Of course, uh, you know this is coming out of your paychecks. Let's see if they've been throwing away these slightly used pickles. Hello? What's this? Come on! Open up! What's all the racket? This cash register is broken and I can't get me money out! Mr. Krabs, that is a typewriter. Does it make money? Not usually. Ooh, I can get it to make money. Come and get it! Two weeks later. Okay, that didn't work. But I have another idea! You expect people to compete for a peanut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwich? Did someone say peanut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwich? SpongeBob, do you even know what you're standing in line for? Nope. It's for the Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament. No. I love tapping. <laughs> no, 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 not tapping. It's a typing tournament. Oh. Do you even know how to type, SpongeBob? No, but my friend will help me. You mean Patrick? <laughs> These typing shoes really work. Oh, oh, my typing leg. Uh, no, I meant this friend. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. And we are now ready for the competition to begin. <laughs> Round one, a meeting of minds. SpongeBob versus Patrick. In the brown trunks, weighing in at 98 pounds, when fully wet, the fry cook that is no small fry when it comes yeah, to trying yeah. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. And in the floral print, the prodigious pentacle of typing power, Patrick Starr. Uh... I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, ready, ready. I'll have two Krabby Patties and an order of fries. Round two! It's a household head-to-head. -head. SpongeBob versus Gary the Snail. Look at SpongeBob SquarePants. He's preparing for the typing contest of his life. Against his very own pet, Gary the Snail. Is Gary oozing with confidence, or is he just oozing? We'll find out as round two is about to get underway. Meow. Round three, SpongeBob versus Mr. Krabs. Will SpongeBob finally make his employer pay? 
These two competitors have very different training methods. SpongeBob flips Krabby Patties to bulk up his wrists. While Mr. Krabs strengthens his claws by pinching pennies. Let's see if SpongeBob gives Mr. Krabs a run for his money. Did someone say money? Round four, brawl with the bully. SpongeBob faces Flats the Flounder. I said SpongeBob faces Flats the Flounder. That's better. Don't say it, let me guess. You're gonna kick my butt. Well, this time I came prepared. Ready when you are, Flats. Ay, 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 ay. Round five! SpongeBob in a head-on collision with his driving instructor, Mrs. Puff! And it looks like Mrs. Puff has made a few minor adjustments to her typewriter! Not to be outdone, SpongeBob is making some modifications of his own! Well, these competitors are all fired up! So let's get to it! The grand final! SpongeBob squares off against Squidward! The grand final! SpongeBob squares off against Squidward! And to make it even more interesting, it is a cage match! It was the cheapest cage I could find! Oh, isn't this exciting, Squidward? Someone help. Please help. The medium grand final! SpongeBob versus Plankton! I didn't get this far by playing fair. Yes! Yes, SpongeBob, you fool! You are now under my complete control and must obey my every command. I wonder where Plankton is. Looks like we'll have to start without him. The Jumbo Grand Final! With Cheese! Sea Critter versus Land Critter! SpongeBob versus Sandy Cheeks! This is it, folks! The ultimate matchup! It will be interesting to see what kind of finger power they bring to the keyboard! Cheeks has outdone herself! Just look at that robot typing power! SpongeBob SquarePants has got to have something astounding up his sleeve to compete with this! Oh, he's got red, white, and blue wristbands! This is anybody's game! Welcome to the first annual Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament live from the Krusty Krab! Round one is just about to get underway, but first let's review the fundamentals of safe typing! Ergonomics! Throughout the tournament, we would request that all typists maintain the correct typing posture. If you don't sit properly, you may experience back, arm, or shoulder pain. You might even end up looking like this! To avoid this awful fate, first make sure you are sitting up straight. Place your feet flat on the ground. Put your elbows at your side. And make sure your wrists are correctly positioned over the keyboard. You are now ready to start typing. The jump. Welcome to the finals of the Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament! With your help, SpongeBob completed the first five rounds, and more importantly, mastered the keyboard! Now you can help SpongeBob battle these typing titans! Thanks to you, SpongeBob has won the Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament and the coveted Sea Nut Butter and Jellyfish Jelly Sandwich! SpongeBob, what is the secret to your typing success? <laughs> there you have it! If you want to be an award-winning typist, you just need to... Oh, and practice. Keep on practicing! Yes. Well, for all of us here at Bikini Bottom, good night and great typing!
tentacles. That's it! I'll go get my license! Who's Jellyfish Patrick? No, you're Patrick. Oh, you have to help me collect jellyfish. Oh. Well, why didn't you just say so? Why are we going so early? It's still dark out. I woke up this morning and I couldn't find Gary and... Slow down, SpongeBob. You're speaking too fast. I woke up this morning and I couldn't find Gary and... Jellyfishing, here we come! <laughs> Come back here! Wait! Stop! Wah! Look out, SpongeBob! Yikes! Oh! oh. oh. A learner's permit should keep SpongeBob out of trouble. Maybe SpongeBob should have applied for a moron license instead. Hey, SpongeBob. Nice of you to drop in. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with all this jellyfish jelly. What are you looking for, SpongeBob? I'm looking for the tape recorder that has my next mission on it, so that I can try to find Gary. <laughs> you ate the tape recorder, Patrick? It not small good. You have done an excellent job so far. Your next mission will require the collection of Krabby Patty. Oh, you're really buying my patience, Plankton. I didn't know you were a doctor, SpongeBob. This tape will self-destruct in three, four, five. No, that's not it. It's counting the wrong way. Take all the jellyfish jelly home. I've got to get over to the Krusty Krab. I got it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Patrick, laugh at this. Yikes! <gasps> oh, and practice. Keep on practicing. Yes. Well, for all of us here at Bikini Bottom, good night and great typing. Tentacles. That's it! I'll go get my license! Come in, Patrick. Patrick, come in. Hey, SpongeBob! Where are you? I'm right here. I need you to help me catch jellyfish, Patrick. Who's jellyfish Patrick? No, you're Patrick. Oh, you have to help me collect jellyfish. Oh. Well, why didn't you just say so? Why are we going so early? It's still dark out. I woke up this morning and I couldn't find Gary and... Slow down, SpongeBob. You're speaking too fast. Uh going, SpongeBob! So you've got my old flying dinghy over the side and all your friends onto it. 
but at least you won't get away from me. You'll be my cabin boy from now until the seas dry up. Give it up, Dutchman. Your haunting nights are numbered. I'll wipe the deck with you, Sponge. Psst. Hello? I do not recommend that you antagonize him right now. Ah, uh, who's afraid of the big bad Dutchman? You don't understand. The book you borrowed from Squidward was not completely accurate. In fact, it was a little out of date. Uh-oh. According to the new edition, the treasures you gathered have made you mostly immune to the Dutchman's powers. But not completely immune. So be ready for a tough fight. Uh, <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. You don't stand a chance, square pants. Where are we going now, SpongeBob? What do you think, Gary? It's so futuristic. Look, the red dot! Come on, back here! That's brilliant! But what'll they think of next? I love this thing! Let's turn it up! Huh? Where did it go? Uh, Patrick? Huh? Oh, there it is! Wait, you smell something burning? Ow. Here, you might use it. You know, I'm not sure that toy is safe for Gary. Where is Gary anyway? Gary! I wonder if Gary would like this ball. Yeah. I guess you do. Are you ready to play with your new ball? Here it is, boy. You want it, boy? Okay, boy. Go and get it. Go and get it. Go and get it. Okay, Gary, bring it back. Come on, Gary. Bring it back. You're supposed to bring it back. That's better! Don't say it, let me guess. You're gonna kick my butt. Well, this time I came prepared. Ready when you are, Flat? Ay, 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 ay. Round five! SpongeBob in a head-on collision with his driving instructor, Mrs. Puff. And it looks like Mrs. Puff has made a few minor adjustments to her typewriter. Not to be outdone, SpongeBob is making some modifications of his own. Well, these competitors are all fired up, so let's get to it! The Grand Final! SpongeBob squares off against Squidward! The Grand Final! SpongeBob squares off against Squidward! And to make it even more interesting, it's a cage match! It was the cheapest cage I could find! Oh, isn't this exciting, Squidward? Someone help. Please help. The Medium Grand Final! SpongeBob versus Plankton! I didn't get this far by playing fair. Yes! Yes, SpongeBob, you fool! You are now under my complete... Jellyfishing partner.
to see you made the right decision about the Krabby Patties. Now the only thing left is what... Let's see. Oh yes, here it is. Some cheese. I gotta get to the carnival. This cake will self-destruct in three, two, one. Please turn tape over to... Goody, goody, goody! I won't be alone anymore. Uh, okay now. I'm just going to hypnotize you so we can... What are we waiting for? Let's get going already. So, um, uh, just keep your eye on this patty. Listen, am I going to be part of your crew or not? Uh... There we go. Everything's spick and span the way it should be. <laughs> if it's cleaning you enjoy, then have I got the ship for you. <laughs> Stay back, you no-good ghost wrangler, because I've got a knuckle sandwich with your name on it. There is no need to resort to violence when I can just hypnotize you into obedience. <laughs> hey, old timer. What's with this pier? This pier handles all the shipping for Bikini Bottom. We can handle orders of any type or size. Our next shipment is going to be a huge load of magic bottles. Seems like everyone's trying to bottle up that Dutchman on account of his curse. Do you want to order one? Do you mean I can get one here? Sure, no problem at all. It costs only 300 sand dollars, tax included. I really mean it this time, dude. No talking, no singing, and no way I'm taking off my Tough Man Championship belt. That's it, Larry. You give me no choice but to invoke my greatest singing powers. Prepare yourself. Oh, well, what's what you... Cool. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man. No, no, not again. This is not fair. I got a frozen wedgie for this. Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? Ah! Wow, that robot looks like Patrick. And its breath seems just as bad. This day just doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili Riano in a pan of grease. We have to help! You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert. What should we do? Well, we better figure something out, and pronto. Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop yapping and get to it. <laughs> Get it! Two weeks later. Okay, that didn't work. But I have another idea! You expect people to compete for a Seanut Butter and Jellyfish Jelly Sandwich? Did someone say Seanut Butter and Jellyfish Jelly Sandwich? <laughs> SpongeBob, do you even know what you're standing in line for? Nope. It's for the Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament. No. I love tapping. <laughs> no, 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 not tapping. It's a typing tournament. Oh. Do you even know how to type, SpongeBob? No, but my friend will help me. You mean Patrick? <laughs> These typing shoes really work. Get out! My typing leg! Uh, no, I meant this friend. Ha, <laughs> good luck. You'll need it. 
And we are now ready for the competition to begin! Round one, a meeting of minds! Snail sure is acting weird. It's like he's teething again. Hey, hold on a second. Gary, have you been chewing on my ball? No. I'm beginning to sense a pattern here. <laughs> Gary, are you trying to tell me something? Could it be that what you need is a new chew toy? <laughs> I thought so. Ooh, I bet there are lots of toys here. Hey, look, there's Patrick. Howdy, Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob. Gareth? What are you doing here? You don't have a pet. Uh, potentially. I'm just here for the free samples. That's it! I'll go get my license! Who's Jellyfish Patrick? No, you're Patrick. Oh, you have to help me collect jellyfish. Oh. Well, why didn't you just say so? Why are we going so early? It's still dark out. I woke up this morning and I couldn't find Gary and... Slow down, SpongeBob. You're speaking too fast. I woke up this morning and I couldn't find Gary and... Jellyfishing, here we come! <laughs> Patrick! Crab! Like that it ever happened. I have the feeling today will be like no other day! <sighs> now I wonder where Gary is. Good morning, Gary! Wait till I tell you about my crazy dream where the Krusty Krab was closed and... Meow! <gasps> oh, you don't say. You had a dream too? Meow! 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 That something really bad is gonna happen? Huh? Whoa, that really is bad. Well, I know just the thing to cheer you up. I'll go fetch your favorite fetching stick. You didn't think I was going to leave for work without a quick game of fetch, did you, Gary? Now, come on, boy. Go long! Longer! Longer! <laughs> what did you dig up outside, boy? Hmm, there's something written on it. I think it says, Damger, Donut Alpine, or else I wonder what that means. Well, maybe we should see what's inside. <coughs> oh, don't be such a soggy sport, Gary. What harm can there be in just a little peek? <coughs> just what I always wanted, a muddy little bottle. Just think of all the fun we can have cleaning it. Here we go! Hey! Meow! Round three! SpongeBob versus Mr. Krabs! Will SpongeBob finally make his employer pay? 
These two competitors have very different training methods. SpongeBob flips Krabby Patties to bulk up his wrists. While Mr. Krab strengthens his claws by pinching pennies. Let's see if SpongeBob gives Mr. Krabs a run for his money. Did someone say money? Round four, brawl with the bully. SpongeBob faces Flats the Flounder. I said SpongeBob faces Flats the Flounder. That's better. Don't say it, let me guess. You're gonna kick my butt. Well, this time I came prepared. Ready when you are, Flats. Ay, 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 ay. Round five! SpongeBob in a head-on collision with his driving instructor, Mrs. Puff! And it looks like Mrs. Puff has made a few minor adjustments to her typewriter! Not to be outdone, SpongeBob is making some modifications of his own! Well, these competitors are all fired up! So Gary, where are you? Gary? Oh, there you are! Oh, a tea party, cute! Do you mind if I join you? I just love a spot of tea. What kind of tea is it? Green tea, Earl Grey, Oolong, Slippery Elm? <laughs> Gee, I think he likes that ball more than me. <laughs> Ugh, that is not tea! I know it will get Gary's attention. Good old Slimy Can! Here you go, get. Darn it, Gary. Gary, dinner time. Gary. Gary? <laughs> okay, that's just creepy. Gary, I think you need to spend some time away from this ball. This isn't helping your case. <laughs> okay, Gary, fun is fun. Now give me that ball, pronto. <laughs> oh, so you've hidden it. Oh, no, you don't come here. I bet I know where it is. Hairball. Hairball. Wallet. Darn it, I thought I lost this. And I just canceled my credit cards. Hairball. Toothbrush. Aha! I knew it! You'll see. Some time apart. Borrow my book after I'm done with it, okay? So look through my yard sale or whatever, but stop asking about my book. How to Defeat Evil Spirits, Chapter 8, The Flying Dutchman. Any poor soul who awakens the Dutchman must suffer his revenge for all eternity. The only defense against the Dutchman's magical powers are his most personal treasures. These are items which he carried close to him while he was alive. Find all seven of the lost treasures in order to face down the Dutchman once and for all. That's it! All I have to do is find the seven lost treasures of the Dutchman to end this once and for all. Barnacles, I thought this would be a challenge. There's no better feeling than having a full stomach and me pockets loaded with money. And now for a nice long nap in the office. If it's a long nap you desire, then I can accommodate you. A customer! Well, step right inside, place your order. You got the wrong idea, crustacean. Just look upon this little treasure and let yourself rest. That's right. Sleep. <laughs> I've been looking for you. <laughs> Sorry, but my yard sale is over. You should have shown up on time if you wanted to buy something. By pinching pennies. <laughs> Let's see if SpongeBob gives Mr. Krabs a run for his money. Did someone say money? Round four, brawl with the bully. SpongeBob faces Flats the Flounder. I said SpongeBob faces Flats the Flounder. That's better. Don't say it, let me guess. You're gonna kick my butt. Well, this time I came prepared. Ready when you are, Flats. Ay, 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 ay. 
Round five! SpongeBob in a head-on collision with his driving instructor, Mrs. Puff! And it looks like Mrs. Puff has made a few minor adjustments to her typewriter! Not to be outdone, SpongeBob is making some modifications of his own! Well, these competitors are all fired up, so let's get to it! The Grand, Grand Final! Final! SpongeBob Spon squares off against Squidward! The Grand Final! SpongeBob squares off against Squidward! And to make it even more interesting, it's, it's a cage, cage match. match! It was the cheapest cage! Throughout the tournament, we would request that all typists maintain the correct typing posture. If you don't sit properly, you may experience back, arm, or shoulder pain. You might even end up looking like this. <laughs> to avoid this awful fate, first make sure you are sitting up straight. Place your feet flat on the ground. Put your elbows at your side. And make sure your wrists are correctly positioned over the keyboard. You are now ready to start typing! The jump! Welcome to the finals of the Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament! With your help, SpongeBob completed the first five rounds, and more importantly, mastered the keyboard! Now you can help SpongeBob battle these typing titans! Thanks to you, SpongeBob has won the Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament and the coveted Sea Nut Butter and Jellyfish Jelly Sandwich! SpongeBob, what is the secret to your typing success? <laughs> there you have it! If you want to be an award-winning typist, you just need to... Oh, and practice. Keep on practice. Throughout the tournament, we would request that all typists maintain the correct typing posture. If you don't sit properly, you may experience back, arm, or shoulder pain. You might even end up looking like this. To avoid this awful fate, first make sure you are sitting up straight. Place your feet flat on the ground. Put your elbows at your side. And make sure your wrists are correctly positioned over the keyboard. You are now ready to start typing. The jump. Welcome to the finals of the Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament! With your help, SpongeBob completed the first five rounds, and more importantly, mastered the keyboard! Now you can help SpongeBob battle these typing titans! Thanks to you, SpongeBob has won the Bikini Bottom Typing Tournament and the coveted Sea Nut Butter and Jellyfish Jelly Sandwich! SpongeBob, what is the secret to your typing success? <laughs> there you have it! If you want to be an award-winning typist, you just need to... Oh, and practice. Keep on practicing! Yes! <laughs> Let's see if they've been throwing away me slightly used pickles. Hello? What's this? Come on! Open up! What's all the racket? This cash register is broken and I can't get me money out! Mr. Krabs, that is a typewriter. Does it make money? Not usually. Ooh, I can get it to make money. Come in, did it! Two weeks later. Okay, that didn't work. But I have another idea! You expect people to compete for a peanut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwich? Did someone say peanut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwich? <laughs> La 
SpongeBob, do you even know what you're standing in line for? Nope. It's for 